Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Philistines and Flanders, gargoyles and prototypes, etc., etc., and those in between. Welcome to Nine Lives. I am Kat Cunning, your host. You're on my Instagram. Um, and for Nine Lives, we are celebrating International Women's Month in partnership with Lady Gun by interviewing nine literal lives on nine literal live Instagrams. It's a cat theme because I love cats. I am a cat. I have a cat. Today, we are very lucky to have Ella Hunt as a guest. You guys are all probably her number one fan. I'm hoping you already know who she is. And you may know her from Dickinson, an incredible TV show out on Apple right now where she represents queer characters in history, which is kind of the dream. Here she comes. Oh, hey, hey, you're here. Hello. Nice. hello. <laughs> it is such a pleasure to meet you and to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. We are fellow cat lovers. Yes. Do you have a cat yourself? One second. Please, yes, let's share cats. Love your cats. This is oh Alfie. My <laughs> oh my god. Their name is Julieta. Yes, she's named oh. after Juliet <laughs> of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, I'm so excited to have you on the show. I have discovered about you that you're not only an incredible actor, which I have witnessed and cried at your performances, Thank you. <laughs> um, which I'm like an easy sell to cry at anything queer and anything a period piece. Um, but also you have achieved great work in Thank that you. show and other stuff that I've seen. And I've also heard rumors that you are making music. I am. I am, which is really, really exciting. Um, well, and will be coming soon. <laughs> yes. Is there anything that you can like tell us about what, like for me as a musical artist, being asked what kind of music I make is a horrible question. I hate it so much. It's, it's a really cool hard thing. question. But um, is there any way where you don't give, like don't appease anyone, but for yourself, you. how, what do you feel like is your music? I guess I would say that it's like, it's an extension of myself as a human being, which I think for most musicians it is, but um, it really is like the most personal form of art and it's very confessional and oftentimes quite moody. I am quite a moody person naturally. And I'd say it's like <laughs> somewhere between Joni Mitchell and I don't know, Bon Eva or Billie Eilish or something like oh, that. Oh, God, I'm thrilled <laughs> to hear it. I've heard from an inside source that it is amazing. Thank you. And likewise, I just adore your music and your voice is just like utterly magical. So I'm like really delighted to be chatting today. Thank you so much. Well, let's freaking collab. Who cares? Love to me. I would love that. <laughs> okay, great. great. Well, <laughs> should we get into these awesome questions? Yes. Okay. Who is your favorite historical female figure? <laughs> yes, no. obviously Susan Gilbert and Emily Dickinson, of course. Um, but when I saw that you were going to be asking me that question, I was like, well, I mean, can you answer that question? There are so many spectacular women through history that I'm like, ah! I guess I would say all of the suffragettes. The suffragettes yeah. as a movement. I'm just like, yes, yes, you, you are my historical female figures. What is one challenge you've had to overcome in your industry? I think for me, I, especially as a younger teen, because I, I started acting when I was pretty young, especially with teenagers, I think people are really keen in the industry to sort of put you in a box and go, this is what you do. Um, mm. And uh, I think as women, like we are so much more multifaceted than people would often have us be. It took me a while to really like, grow a pair of tits and be like, no, 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 I'm not just gonna act. I'm gonna do music as well because these are both my passions. I care about them equally. Um, and also just to not like clean myself up and like present an easy person to people because I feel like I did a lot of that through my teens as well of just trying to be as digestible for people as possible as opposed to just like being messy and myself um, and I'm really really enjoying uh feeling a little bit freer now I love that it takes <laughs> getting to share some of who you are to as like a jumping point you know to, yeah in order to expand on that what name a woman who has had a big influence on you I mean I imagine that so many people you interview are going to say this but like just definitely my mom my mum is an artist and um, 
was like super supportive of me and my brothers from like early, early childhood in whatever we wanted to pursue and especially as artists and anything we brought to her and showed her was never kind of diminished as child art. It, it was like given the respect and love and teaching uh, that, that an, an adult would give to uh, a student. <laughs> Validating your instincts as an artist is so, so, yeah. so valuable. So like, valuable. Speaking of stu- like validation and words, mm-hmm. best advice you've ever received or advice you'd give to your younger self or your life's motto any of those things like oh wow (laughs) I know I love them all together because I feel like they all kind of evoke something different for me but wrap up the same so you can answer however you want so I guess the advice I would give to my younger self uh is to have fun I um it sounds like really basic but uh I grew up acting and and pursuing my passions and I think I was so wrapped up as a teenager in wanting to succeed and do everything well that I didn't I didn't give myself much room to play and enjoy okay and now for a super super serious question uh salty or sweet this is my favorite question of of the group uh I have the biggest (laughs) sweet tooth ever like uh, I'm just completely obsessed I have to tell you my fans here know that this question is a trap i hate oh. sweets and okay. things make me sick to my stomach but i also really respect our differences yin and yang what makes you feel empowered strong and confident i'd say being around my close friends like watching a lot of my friends are artists like most of my best girlfriends are actresses and musicians and watching them work and succeed and the conversations we have to like bolster each other on the days that are harder um that's what empowers me the most like just just being around my favorite people yeah it definitely takes work to curate that you know what is your most prized possession um the piano in my childhood home that i grew up playing it's a oh, white, amazing. upright piano, and I spent so, so, so many hours at that piano. What is one thing everyone could do to make the world a better place? Recycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. Recycle, <laughs> reduce, reuse, recycle. Think about your impact on the planet. You guys yeah. have heard of it. Recycle. Do it. Yeah, do it. We're, we've made it to the final question. Oh, my God. Which feels so quick. This has been so fun and easy. Um, what is the best thing? It's a hard question. I think it's horrible to answer, but I hope that you can have fun with it. What is the best thing about being you? One second. This is the best thing about being me. Yeah. <laughs> Having cats. This Having one does cats. not like to be held. Like he's like, no, please no. <laughs> Alfie is like, you have to pay a lot more for me to be on screen. Like I call it union. <laughs> That one is Simon. Alfie's a little bit more chill about being picked up, but Simon's like, no, 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 thank you, no. Um, Simon's very far away right now. Yeah, Huli Cat's kind of like a big furry slinky. She's like, uh, I can always pick her up for a moment and then she's over it. Yeah, yeah, that's like Simon. But yeah, I would say um, my cats do make being me just like 1,000 times better. I have become a cat lady since getting this cat. Because I feel like it's easy to be like, the best thing about me is other people. But in the spirit of self-celebrating, is there mm. something that's physical on your body that you carry around every day that you love about yourself? Oh, my. Oh, God. It's, uh, yeah, especially as an English person, I feel like self-deprecation is, like, such, like, it's so like ingrained right. that I'm like, I don't know how to Come on, there's not really like an eyebrow hair or, like, a knee. I have to say, I fucking love you. being a woman. Yeah. I love I, I love my body. I and I feel really lucky in that. Like I actually love my body. Um and and, and feel kind of proud of it and strong in it. Hell um, yeah. I, I guess love to hear that. Thank you for doing that. I know it's, it's totally uncomfortable and weird, but I think you should like give themselves a little compliment every day because words go a long way. You're so right. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that we can actually collaborate, make some music or I would have like a Zoom cat play date sometime soon. <laughs> I love that idea. <laughs> and congratulations on everything that you're doing. It's important. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you so much. And you too. This was so wonderful. You are amazing. Thank you. Ditto. Go have the best day ever. <laughs> Thank you. And you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody say bye. bye. Go follow Ella Hunt. Bye, people. So anyway, that was so great. That was Ella Hunt. She's amazing. I'm so glad she could come on the show and chat me. Make sure that you stay tuned. We have more of these coming next Monday and Wednesday with some more incredible, badass female and female identifying people. And um, I love talking to you guys. And I love talking to these inspiring people. I hope that you're finding your own personal ways to celebrate Women's History Month. Or what? International Women's Month. You know what I'm saying? I'm bad with facts. Um, and I want to sign off with a quote from Eartha Kitt that inspired this series. Cats have nine lives, but you only have one. So buckle up for safety. Mm -hmm.